if I have a n plus k bit instruction with k bits for the opcode and if we are just having one single n bit address so the format of the instruction is like this there is one opcode which is of n bits and there is one address which is of k bits and the total length of the instruction is n plus k bits how many possible operations can we have if we have n bits for the opcode i can have only 2 to the power of n machine instructions or the machine can perform only these 2 to the power of n operations and how many memory addresses can i have 2 to the power of k memory addresses i can have okay these could be register addresses also so whatever address we are talking about in this instruction so 2 to the power of n machine instructions and 2 to the power of k combinations of the addresses suppose if i change this n plus k instruction to uh, an instruction which is having n minus 1 bits for the opcode and k bits k plus 1 bits for the address in this case the instruction length is still the same we are not changing the instruction length it is still the same we are simply changing the bits that have been allocated to the opcode and the address if we are having n minus 1 bits for the opcode the number of machine instructions that would be possible now would be 2 to the power of n compare this to the original and you have halved the number of operations that the machine can perform what about the addresses now i can access 2 to the power of k plus 1 addresses compare this to the 2 to the power of k addresses that i was accessing earlier i have doubled the addresses that i can have so by changing the number of bits that we are allocating to the opcode and the address we can change the number of instructions that the machine can have and we can also change the addresses that the memory can uh, that the machine can access this kind of uh, an approach to specify codes for the instructions that the machine can perform without changing the length of the instruction is called expanding opcode and we will see an example how we can expand the opcode if the number of addresses are reduced let us take this example in which it is specified that all the machine instructions are 16 bits long and the addresses are 4 bits long possibly these are register addresses that they are referring to the, all the registers are having an address 4 bits long this specifies that the machine can that the processor is having a maximum of 16 registers because 2 to the power of 4 is 16 so if i am using 4 bits for the addresses so i can have 16 registers and the addresses can vary from 0000, 0, 0, 0 that would could represent register 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 001 which could represent r1 and so on to 1111 which would represent register 15 so this is an indication that possibly that the machine can have a maximum of 16 registers what is required from this machine is that it should be able to have three address instructions 15 of them 14 two address instructions 31 one address instructions and 16 instructions with no address at all let us see about the three address instructions so the three address instructions could be of this type 
this would be address 1, this would be address 2, this would be address 3 and these are register addresses over here what they have specified each register address is taking 4 bits the total length of the instruction is 16 so the bits that are left for the opcode are 4 and examples of this type could be add register 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 so this is a machine instruction and this re this register could be a destination register which could be any of those 16 general purpose register this could be r7 this could be r1 this could be anything and these source registers also could be any general purpose register so over here i can specify any register here I have to give a code for add. I have to specify a code for add, some machine code. The machine is not able to understand ADD. We have to give some binary code to this instruction. That, would, that is the opcode. So this would be the format of a three address instructions where four bits would be required for the opcode. Let us look at the format of the two address instruction. Again, there are two addresses a1 and a2 so 4 bits for these the length of the instruction is 16 so the opcode would be left with only 8 bits okay an example of this kind would be uh, like move register register so when I'm moving data between two registers, this would be the kind of instruction I would be having, okay? And these registers could be any registers. For a one address instruction, so this is an uh, this is a, the address and this is the opcode, four bits for the address, so twelve bits left for the opcode. An example would be increment register. Increment the value of the value contained in this particular register. Again, any of the 16 registers that are available. And for zero address, all the 16 bits would be assigned to the opcode. Let us see if we can design an expanding opcode for this particular requirement. So our requirement is to have 15 three address instructions and the number of bits that we can have for the opcode if you see is only 4. So we can start with 0000, 0, 0, 0. that is the opcode that we can give to the first instruction followed by three register addresses and each register is requiring four bits. So these are the three address instructions. So this is the first of them. The next instruction I can assign a code 0011 and these registers would be the can denoted by xx and y and z. I need 15 of these kind, 15 three address instructions. So if I go from 0 to 14, I can have 15 instructions which are of 3 address type. So I have assigned an opcode to each of the 15 machine instructions. Now I need 14 instructions which are of 2 address. For two address instructions, I need an opcode which is of 8 bits. So that means I will just have two addresses over here, xxxx and yy. These are specifying the registers and these 8 bits to the left would specify the opcode. However, now I need an opcode which can distinguish the two address instructions from the one address instructions. So in the one address instructions, the four bits are ranging from 0000, 0, 0, 0 
21110. I have to use a code which is different from the three address instructions. So the available code is 1111. This will help me distinguish the two address instruction from the three address instructions. So I can have 1111 for the distinguishing part and then I start giving the extra 4 bits for the 8 bit opcode. So this is my first instruction, first opcode for the two address instruction. This is the next one. And I need 14 of these kinds. So if I go from 0 to 13, if I go from 0 to 13, I will have 14 instructions of the two address type. Now I need 31 instructions of 31 instructions of single address and that requires 12 bits of opcode. What are the available codes that can distinguish the one address instruction from the two address instructions and the three address instructions? So the available codes are 1111 1110 and the other one is 1111 1111. So these are the codes that are available which can distinguish the one address instructions from the three address and two address instructions. So now I put in the extra bits for the 12 bit opcode. So I require a 12 bit opcode. So I can go like this and I require a total of 31 such instructions. So I can go all the way to, sorry, this would be 0001 and this would be 1111. So these are giving me 16 instructions of one address type. Now I'm left with the next code which is available. So again I start with 0000, 0, 0, 0 and I require 15 more because the total is 31. So if I go on till 14, I will get 15 such instructions and the total is 31. Is there any code available for me to give the zero address instructions? Yes, there is. This code is available to me which can distinguish the one address, the zero address instructions now. So I can start with this code and start assigning opcodes all the way till 1111 and this would give me 16 of zero address instructions. So we see that how the opcode ex is expanding from 4 bits to 8 bits to 12 bits and to 16 bits and the addresses the number of addresses over here was 3 the number of addresses over here was Two, over here it was one and over here no addresses were there in this format okay let us see how many combinations are possible with 16 bits so the combinations that I can have the binary combinations I can have with 16 bits is 2 to the power of 16 but the the opcodes that we have specified over here so there were 15 of them which had three addresses. In the three addresses that we have over here, there are 12 bits. So 2 to the power of 12 combinations are possible. So for each instruction that I am having over here in the three address, 
2 to the power of 12 different combinations of these bits are possible. Right? So, with 15 instructions, I can have 2 to the power of 15 into 2 to the power of 12 combinations. With 14 instructions of 2 address type, there are 8 bits. So, there are 2 to the power of 8 combination into 14 because there were 14 instructions which were possible. With 31, 1 address instruction, these many combinations are possible. And with 16, 0 address, these many combinations are possible. The total number of combinations which are possible, so if I add all of these, these should be less than 2 to the power of 16 because this is the maximum number of combinations that I can have with 16 bits. So, in a way what we are saying is that 15 into 2 to the power of 12 plus 14 into 2 to the power of 8 plus 31 into 2 to the power of 4 plus 16 into 2 to the power of 0 should be less than or equal to 2 to the power of 16. So, if you have the instruction design with you, if you know that you require these many instructions of these many address types, if you know that particular, you have that information with you, you can use this to figure out whether an expanding opcode would be possible or not. If it is not possible, then you will have to think of some other way of specifying opcodes for each machine instruction.